Hello, I'm Craig Venter. I'm the founder of the J. Craig Venter Institute and the company Synthetic Genomics. Uh, my team before this sequenced the uh, human genome 10 years ago. Now we're working on disruptive changes to try and solve the problems of providing sufficient clean water, food, and energy uh, for the 21st century. Synthetic genomics is a whole new technology where we actually read and write the genetic code, uh, creating new biological processes to try and produce food, fuel, and water. Uh, our key goal is to use carbon dioxide as a uh, carbon source and sunlight as the energy source. And we think that we can uh, convert that carbon dioxide uh, into a variety of substances. So the key things that we need are sunlight, uh, warm uh, desert land, and uh, abundant supplies of water. Uh, nothing in science uh, takes place without uh, uh, risk. Uh, taking risk is the way to get to disruptive changes uh, by the very definition. We need substantial change, substantial risk taking uh, to deal with the fact that we're adding a billion people to the population uh, every 12 years. Uh, the speaker you're going to hear from, Mari Petrinos, who's our head of uh, government affairs, uh, I first met him when he was in the Department of Energy. He was one of the few that was willing to take a risk and actually fund this early work on synthetic life, synthetic biology. Uh, I hired him uh, out of government. Uh, government stopped funding the, uh, this work, uh, but Ari's been a, a true believer and he's going to talk to you about some of the key directions that we're going in to try and make these disruptive changes. I look forward to hearing the results of your conference and uh, this exciting new field.